bloody did it, DC. So Wonder Woman was directed by Patty Jenkins, and it's about this character called Diana, or known as Wonder Woman, that has been living on this island that only has women on it. Then her life suddenly changes once a World War One pilot crash lands near the island, engulfing her to try and help stop World War One. Now there was a lot riding on this movie because the last two DC movies, they are, they could have been better. But after seeing this movie, I, I really enjoyed it. One thing that really works for this movie is the humor. Now, the last DC movie, uh, Suicide Squad, they tried to put humour in, but the majority of the time it felt very forced, and it just, mostly it didn't work. But the humour in this movie definitely works a lot better because it doesn't feel forced, it feels very natural. Gal Gadot does a great job as Wonder Woman as she's able to portray such a strong and compassionate character. But even still, this character isn't perfect. You could see at the beginning of the film, Diana acted more naive, but as the movie progresses, that starts to dissipate. But all these character flaws do is just make her much more of a relatable human type character. Chris Pine as Steve Trevor also does a great job in this movie. I'd probably say he does most of the humour in this movie, but as I said before, it never really seems forced. One thing that I also like from Chris Pine's character is he's not just this person Wonder Woman needs to save all the time. And that now moves me on to the chemistry between Diana and Steve Trevor. Now, even though this is a long movie, whenever both these characters are on screen, I was really invested into it. I never checked the time once. But I have to say there was one time I did check and that was because of, um, it wasn't when they were on screen, it was when they were showing like a villain scene and you know, doing all their evil plots and stuff. So they were kind of a downside to this movie, like they didn't destroy the movie or anything like that, but they were just, they were pretty much just like your generic villain. Another kind of downside to this movie as well is if you're not a fan of um, slow motion and stuff like that, there's quite a lot of that in this movie. I didn't really mind the slow motion in this movie because I thought it really suited the style anyway. But I have to say that when it's not slow motion in the fight scenes, it's really awesome. Another downside in the action scenes is you'll notice there's quite a lot of CGI in this movie, especially in the final battle. The final battle kind of reminded me a bit of um, Batman v Superman, but I'd definitely say like the doomsday battle at the end, but I'd still say I preferred this final action scene than the final action scene in Batman v Superman. Moving on to some more positives in this movie, the trenches scene. That was just such a great and just a memorable scene altogether. For example, when she was blocking all these bullets with a shield when she was in the middle of uh, No Man's Land, that was just so great. Like, I could just imagine the directors for Captain America, the first Captain America, and they're just like, why didn't we do that? While I was actually writing down notes for this review, I was listening to some of the soundtrack, and actually one of them I'd really recommend, it's called Wonder Woman's Wrath. Go ahead and look that up on YouTube or Google or whatever, it's just such a powerful and heroic score. So the final positive I'm gonna say about this movie is they only link to the DC Comics like twice in this movie in very small segments, and they're also very well placed, which means that this movie isn't relying on other DC movies in order to be good, it's not trying to you know, have little cameos and stuff. It's just focusing on being a good movie. See, that was a huge problem in the Batman v Superman film is they just kept trying to link other superheroes and other future movies, which it kind of got a little bit annoying instead of trying to focus on, you know, making a good movie, which makes this very inviting for people who have not watched any other DC movie before because you don't really need to know anything going into it. So this was a good movie that came with very few flaws, so I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. This is definitely worth seeing in cinemas, even if you're not a person that has watched other DC movies, this is even, yeah, welcoming for newcomers. And with all that, this movie is worthy of a piece of licorice. It's okay. God. Now, all we have to do, DC, is keep that momentum going. Don't stuff up Justice League. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you folks in the next one. Ching, ching, ching. Blocking them bullets.